on what up new gaming order hitting you with the juggernaut punch um we're gonna be talking about platinum games now apparently my concern i know platinum games has been working with activision as of late am, am i correct in saying this somewhat yeah okay like i guess for publishing and um apparently the CEO of uh, Platinum Games will be resigned, well, has resigned at the end of March. And um, most recently, they were working on Star Fox for um, Nintendo. Now, that new Star Fox, from, you know, if you know Platinum Games' reputation, games like The Legend of Korra, Metal Gear Rising, a uh, freaking um, Transformers Devastation, and uh, in June, uh, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? My concern is, I hope with the CEO stepping down, that it doesn't change the direction and quality types of Platinum Games. Now, Platinum Games, you got like Bayonetta, um, and those who don't know, they were a spinoff from Clover Studios and things like Lost Planet and what have you. And I hope that the types of games that Platinum Games does, doesn't change. You know, hell, uh, who who here played Vanquish uh, on the 360? Vanquish, what what did you? Good. That was crazy, right? You know, like it was some good shit. Or like you look at the Legend of Korra, the final battle, or um, the final battle for Transformers Devastation, where you have Megatron and Optimus fighting in space. Like they do some crazy type games, and it gets you hyped, gets you pumped, and it's a very Japanese style to their their product so i hope that doesn't change now some people are saying that it might have had something to do with activision um they're not getting along i don't know but the article is going to be copy pasted in the the chat for those who want to check it out but Star Fox is just coming you know on the way to production and it's just you know hopefully it doesn't change anything but I don't know, but Demenzo, what are your thoughts? Uh, do you think this is going to adversely affect uh, Platinum Games going forward? I don't, because a CEO of the company, unless they're directly involved in the creative process, if it's just a business guy, he's like the head guy. He's like, okay, I want this to happen. And it's up to the guys underneath him to make it happen. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't set the artistic direction of the company he's like he's essentially what the uh, what the president is to the united states he's the head spokesperson he's the face of the company mm -hmm. he's the one that like okay i want the company to go in this direction but it's up to you guys over here to, mm. to get us there it's like it's like a captain of a ship captain of a ship doesn't actually sell the ship he's mm -hmm. like okay I want this, 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 and this to happen on my ship. And mm -hmm. it's up to everybody underneath him to make it happen. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, apparently it, there's reshuffling going on with uh, Platinum Games. So, yeah, he stepped down. But uh, on his track record, his resume has him uh, involved with games such as Resident Evil, Mega Man Legends, and uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Um, so... Man, I, I just hope it doesn't change anything, you know, because I like the product of Platinum Games and I just don't want to see it change. But, Khalif, um, if you're familiar with uh, Platinum Games products and the CEO, uh, what are your thoughts on it, if any? Well, I'm, a f I'm familiar with some of their games. Like, uh, didn't they make uh, Metal Gear Rising? Yes. And, uh, yeah, shit like, yeah, I, I played a few of their games. I mean... So, I mean, just like what was said earlier, man, he, I mean, he's a CEO, so he's not like, you know, unless he was like part of the creative process, like hands on, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, Platinum like, Games, they're a smaller studio. So, like, I remember when they were interviewing uh, Platinum Games during the production of Metal Gear Rising. And, um, you know, they're, they're like, it's an intimate group. It's, it's small, you know, so... Um, that's why I brought it up because I'm like, hmm, I just hope it doesn't have a ripple effect, you know? Well, I mean, we'll see. Only time will tell, man. I mean, you know, CEOs, like I said, he's, 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 he's well, like I said, you know, what was said earlier, 
know, he, he is, unless he was part of the creative process, you know, then it really shouldn't matter too much to how the games run and mm -hmm. you know how the games play and everything. So we'll we'll just have to see, man. Okay, okay. Um, Shintokuma, your thoughts? Oh man, here we go again. Leaving the company because of some other crap. Now um, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, we like we don't know, but it's just it seems. To be the scenario, because look what happened to the producer of uh, Metal Gear and everything else. Not he left, and then he got signed by Sony. I can't think of his name. Oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, Kojima. But, uh, he didn't yeah. get signed by Sony. He's just doing a exclusive game for them. Okay. You know, but I mean, like, um, you know, his studio is it's like Platinum Games. It's like, hey, they'll be commissioned to make games for you know. I mean, look at what Platinum Games has done. They've done games for Nintendo. They got the games on PlayStation for Konami. So, you know, I think that's just the new formula going forward. They're just like, hey, you know what? It's it's more profitable for the studios to do it that way. Yeah. You know, so. So hopefully this is. Uh... Hello. Hello, yeah. hello. Yeah, you're cutting out. Go ahead, say uh, again. Okay. Hopefully this is not the case of you know everything else. Just see what happens if he can do something a little bit better and everything else or not. Because, you know, just Star Fox just dropped and I was really excited about the game. It looks game. good, too. It looks good. I that... found out that he just he, he left and everything else. So he stepped down. You know, hopefully it's not anything personal um, as far as in family wise, something like that. But, you know, we had to wait and see. So, mm -hmm. all right. Know, that's like that. So, hopefully, it's nothing bad that happened to him or. A company screwed them over or something like that. So, well, so. according to the article, is this a reorganization, restructuring? So I guess their their vision probably yes. didn't fit. Corporate talk, like, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Talk, so. I, I know. All right, and last but not least, Nelson, what are your thoughts on um, Platinum Games going through their um, restructuring? Just like any other company, it needs to happen. It needs to happen. It must be something where they're financing it not in the order or the person feels like he's tired of doing it and they need to find something else mm -hmm. that but i don't like the fact that people are blaming him for uh leaving and then star fox zero just popped and then everyone's having like mixed of uh, mixed reactions towards it yeah 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 and, you know, and like i'm gonna say my two cents this is like not even a review because i will not be picking up the game due to the fact that nintendo's getting lazy so all i'm gonna say is you guys did a great job fooling everyone by putting however much content you did from rehash games of the star fox uh universe what in, in in that new game so i'll put it like this if you ever played the super nintendo you ever played the 64 version you ever yeah. played the gamecube version all three of those games all three of their stories is meshed into one and they're trying to make it seem like it's a brand new story when it's not really but you know what isn't that might be a good thing too for those who weren't involved like who missed out on star fox they can uh, probably get them caught up i mean in a sense yeah but for the people who's been playing star fox for years like they took the original ending from the 64 version put it back in here they took the beginning intro of the 64 version put it back in here oh so it's like a, a, a mega mix pretty much it's weird. I, I just don't like the way how they did that because they did promise that it was going to be a brand new game out of the gate, a brand new story, brand new. Oh, did they? And the only thing that's new in the game is the the Star Walker. Other than that, everything is the exact same. Now, what is that Star Walker? Like, can you shed some light on it? Walker is like, um, it basically has legs and it can walk. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, was, it, it was in the video. That I had. Mm. Apparently, it's, they said it was in the GameCube version, but I it's basically the the Star Fox version of it at at from Star Wars. Yeah, more or less. But it, I did not like the fact that the game could be beaten in a very short time. I didn't like. The but most of Platinum games are like that, like you know. Right, it, but the thing is, they if you promise something that was going to be brand spanking new. You gotta deliver on that, mm -hmm. and they did not deliver on that. It's literally, they, like word for word, the exact same ending that happened in the '64 version is the exact same ending as it is in this one. Word shut, for word. Shut up! Come on! I'm looking forward to playing the game. 
like word for word. Well, I'm just saying my two cents. You could just still play and have your own five, six hours of gameplay to it. That's fine, but I will not be picking up this title. But overall, mm-hmm. Platinum Games, he, him stepping down, it's not a big deal. They'll still bounce back because he wasn't really um, in, like working as the R&D or he wasn't working as like specs or anything like that. He had no influence with that. Mm-hmm. He was just managing whatever he had to manage. Okay. So the Platinum Games company will still go on to make good games. Okay. Okay. With that being said, New Gaming Order, we're going to go into intermission. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Help us get to 2,000 subs. We're almost there. We're almost there. Just need, like, what, 70-something-ish? Close, like, 60-something people, you know. Uh, shout out to Full Screen, our partner, for ch- uh, supporting us. Uh, we've been doing uh, great things, and we're looking to partner with more folks. Um, also, I want to put this information out. If you are a small company that's looking for decent advertisement make sure you link up with me or nelson we can uh, start spreading the word about independent companies and networking opportunities so uh, i'll be looking forward to doing that uh as you know thumb thrasher gaming uh new gaming order free play mode tough nerd toys we uh endorse one another so we would like to do the same and help each other out so um rate comment and subscribe or i'm gonna hit you with the juggernaut punch and we'll see you on the next segment peace